Hey Capricorn, I'm Jennifer Angel. Let's see what's coming up for you for the month of April. Okay, there's lots of activity happening around your home and family sector of your life, okay? And it's a new moon, so also in this area. So that's on the 5th, so that signifies new beginnings in some way. Um, and with the Sun and Pluto challenging each other, so you want to be aware of someone wanting to take over or dictate to you what they feel you should be doing. I mean, right, <laughs> being a Capricorn, I know that does not go down well with us Capricorns okay so sure listen you can listen to advice but you don't have to take it on okay um, so you know keep that <clears throat> keep that in mind but do be careful of getting into into a power struggle you know you're all you're, you're better to listen and go you know what thanks for the advice um, I've got lots of things that I'm mulling over and researching at the moment so I'll make my own decision soon all right so you can certainly compromise but don't lose sight of what you want to achieve for yourself that's most important so many of you will feel like sort of nesting as well with Venus also in this area and it's a positive time to sort of have a clean out or you know spring clean as it is um, and just to make your home and your abode sort of homier and more comfortable you know great place to you know come home to clean out the cobwebs um and really sort of get that energy you know going because you know the fun fun shui as the chinese um philosophy is you know when you have piles of stuff sitting around then that sort of blocks the energy so you know the more sort of stuff you can get rid of then the the better that the energy is okay right now um love is very much in your star chart now too of course let's, let's talk about love so um, couples can open your home for entertaining you know great time to, for get-togethers um and if it's for singles it's possible for singles to meet someone who's a long-term partner especially as the sun and uranus will interact when the sun and uranus interact and it happens once a year it's like a trigger point of energy and energy that comes like totally out of the blue so you know when they come together late in the month it's like wow and it's in this area of creativity so it can be do can be to do with a creative project that goes ahead all of a sudden or of course you can meet somebody from a romance um, love um, point of view also people from the past can come back in your life with Saturn going retrograde towards the end of the month so when people come back into your life sometimes it gives you um, an opportunity to heal the relationship and close it off once and for good deal with emotional baggage sometimes it can give you another chance to make it right you know and to renew so you know either either way is good um, <clears throat> okay, so Mars energy in your area of productivity can have you busier than usual, if that's possible, okay? Most Capricorns I know, well, I think all Capricorns I know, including myself, have a very good constitution, okay? But you still need to look after yourself because, you know, Mars in this area of your chart does sort of tempt you to do more than what's humanly possible, Um it does indicate that um, you know new things can start you know with business particularly so it says a full moon in your career zone too so you know it's a time where you need to be careful of your time management okay um, it's certainly a month for action it's a month to get it organized but work on priorities and that's really the main point because you know that old saying if you keep doing what you've been doing then um, you know if you want something different to happen in your life then you have to do something different there's certainly that opportunity to do that this month now if you've never had your personal chart done this is a great time to do it because um, for all of April <clears throat> I have a 25% discount the personal charts take two hours to give and substantial um, time to prep that's why the chart reading is more expensive um, 
than the normal sessions, but it's a once in a lifetime session. I do believe that everybody should have be available to have, um, you know, their chart analyzed once in their lifetime. It's a great session. It's very revealing, informative. Um, if you've got any inf any de you know any um, information that you'd like questions about it, just reach out to me on uh, email and go on to jenniferangel.com on the um, astrology reading pages and you can you know get all the information on it there okay all right love and luck to you and hope to see you again soon bye for now